Hello dear students, hope you all are fine and doing well at your home. This is your subject teacher of English from Alpine Public School which is situated in Golabajar, Gorakhpur. My dear student, in today's video we are going to revise the next chapter that is given in your Tune into Grammar book. That is chapter number 8 which is related to pronoun. Okay student, so first of all you all take out your Tune into Grammar book and open the topic pronoun. Okay. My dear student, you had already learned about this topic in your previous classes. So, one more time we are going to revise this topic again. Okay. So, it is related to pronouns. So, first of all, tell me do you know about the pronouns? What is pronouns? So, we all know that a pronoun is a word which is used in, used in place of a noun. What is pronoun? A pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun. Okay, that is the definition of pronoun. So, you must be read the definition of pronoun. So, a pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun. Now, come to the page number 43. There is a important notes for you that is a very important for you. So, read this passage. Okay, first of all, you will read this given passage. So, the teacher said, dear children, I am going to tell you a story. Do you want to listen to a fairy tale? So next, yes, yes ma'am, said the children. Then we should sit closer. Pranjal, you come and sit beside Rahul and the children huddle, huddle together. The teacher started, I am going to tell the story of beauty and the beast. Once upon a time, there was a wealthy merchant. He had three daughters. The elder daughters were mean and selfish. They always wanted expensive gifts. The merchant's youngest daughter was a lovely girl. She was called Beauty. She had a pony. She had a pony. It was white in color. So, student, we have to read a paragraph and the and the given paragraph in this passage i you he see we they and it are personal pronouns a personal pronoun replace the noun that refers to people or things here we will learn about personal pronoun okay so what is personal pronoun so in this given passage we will learn about i you he see we they and it these all are personal pronouns and what is a personal pronoun so we can say that a personal pronoun replace the noun that refers to people or things so personal pronoun can be grouped into persons what is personal pronoun personal pronouns can be grouped into persons study this table carefully it is very important for you that you must be read this given table so student in personal pronoun there is three parts First is first person, second person and third person. What is first person? So the person who is speaking. The person who is speaking is called first person. The second person, the second person, the person spoken to. And the third person, the person or things spoken of. Okay. For example, in singular, the first person, the person who is speaking, it would be in singular I and plural we okay it is example that is given in the table you must be read this given table carefully it is very important for you by the help of this given table you you solve the all given exercise okay in second person the second person the person is spoken to so for example in singular you and plural it is also you now come to the third person the third person the person or things spoken of for example, in singular, he, see, it, and plural, they. Okay. So, you must be read this given table. Okay. It is very important for you. So, now read this sentence. I bought a handbag for her. I bought a handbag for her. So, student, second is, we went out with them. Third, you gave the pen to me. Next, he broke it. He is fond of you. Next, they will go for the picnic with us. So, in each of the sentences, the highlighted word is the pronoun. That is, door of the action. While the, 
italicized word is the pronoun that received the action the highlighted pronouns are the subject while the italicized pronouns are the object okay so student study the this table to understand the two forms of personal pronoun first that is related to subject and another one that is related to object okay so first person singular showing doer of action and the second column showing receiver of action so first person it would be i and receiver me for the i we will use me and second person in singular it would be you and in plural it is also you third person singular he she it for him her it and first person singular we for us you for you they for them just like this you will use the doer and the receiver of the action okay student firstly we will learn about personal pronoun and after that there is a next one demonstrative pronouns okay demonstrative pronoun so in this given pronouns we will learn now read this given sentence this is an umbrella that is a house these are toys those are ever evergreen trees so in this sentence is the highlighted words are demonstrative pronouns like all pronouns demonstrative pronouns come in place of noun okay we is we use this and this to point at things that are near us we use this or this to point at things that are near us and we use that and those to point at the things that are away from us so student let's do the given exercise so here read this passage replace the highlighted words with pronouns okay we will learn about we had already learn about personal pronoun and demonstrative pronoun so in personal pronoun we will learn that we had already learn that we will use first person second person third person according to the given subject and object also we will learn now after completing this information about personal pronoun we will move to next that is related to demonstrative pronoun so in demonstrative pronoun we, we have to learn that we will use this and this for the near and that and those for the far away we have to use this and this to point at things that are near us and we use that and those to point at things that are away from us so let's do the given exercise according to the knowledge of personal pronoun and demonstrative pronoun okay so read this passage and replace the highlighted word with pronoun so first is rakhi is my close friend rakhi is my close friend and the next one rakhi and my teach uh, my taste are the same so here we will write in the place of rakhi and my we will use pronoun it will be our our taste are the same rakhi and i so we will use here we we like swimming and playing basketball rakhi and i again we will use here we also travel a lot together next rakhi is a fond of chocolates and ice cream so here for the rakhi we will use the pronoun personal pronoun she C is fond of chocolates and ice cream. Rakhi eats chocolates and ice cream. So here we will use them. Okay. Next, them whenever she can. Rakhi and I. So here we will use we. We both have younger sibling. Rakhi and my siblings often play together. So here we will use our we. Okay. We will use here we. We often play together. Rakhi and I are best friend forever. So here again we use we. Okay, students. Just like this, we have to complete this given paragraph. Now we moving to the next exercise. In exercise A, underline the subject pronoun in each of the sentences. Also provide a suitable object pronoun. One has been done for you. So student, you will write here subject pronoun and also provide object for the given sentence. So first is I purchased a bicycle for. So here. we will use object for the subject it will be he okay next we will call dash over for t so we will write here then next you gave a watch to dash so here we will write me fourth 
he returned the map to dash so here we will write her fifth is she called the two of dash home so here we will write them now the next in number 6 it was barking at dash so here we will write me in number 7 i bought two ice creams for dash so here we will write them in number 8 we must include all of them all of all of dash in our assembly so we will write here them in number 9 they at lunch with dash so here we will write me in number 10 you cannot blame dash for the mistake so here we will write me just like this you have to complete this given exercise now moving to the next exercise exercise b in this exercise answer this question using pronouns as subject and objects one has been done for you so student in number 1 do you like vegetables so here we will write we will use pronoun as subject and object also okay so first no i don't like them so here the subject is i and the object is them in second did i give you the ball so here we will write on the first blank for the subject you and the second blank we will write object it will be it so yes you gave it to me third are those magician for magicians for you or those magicians for you so student here we will write on the first blank subject will be they no they are aren't for dash so here we will write me fourth is does tina love chinese food so here we will write on the first c for the subject and it for the object so yes c loves it in number 5 in number 5 will you go to the party with me so here we will write on the first blank for the subject i on the second blank for the object you so yes i will go with you in number 6 does he know his neighbor so here we will write on the first blank he and the second blank them yes he knows them in number 7 does the dog belong to him so we will write on the first it and the second her yes it is her in number 8 in number 8 does the child belong to that lady so we will write on the first it and the second hers okay so yes it is hers now the next 11 are this tables laid for us so student on the first we will write they and the second we will write us so it will be yes they are laid for us in number 10 did she call you so we will write here no she didn't call me just like this you have to complete this given exercise a in your book and after that you also write this given exercise in your notebook okay student now we moving to the next exercise that is given on the next page on page number 47 come to the exercise c in exercise c choose the correct option to complete its sentences so here we will choose the correct option and after that we will write this given option on the blank okay so first is dash are the basket bought by me so they are dash so we will choose the option number b so on the first blank we will write this on the second blank we will write mine so it would be these are the baskets bought by me so they are mine in second dash is the club dash visit so here we will choose the option number a so the sentence will be this is the club she visit in number third we will choose the option number c it is correct option so on the first blank we will write this and on the second we will write it so this is the food it eats in number 4 dash are the toys dash bought so we will choose the option number a so the sentence will be those are the toys he bought in number 5 we will choose the option number b so after that we will write this on the first blank and b on the second blank so the sentence will be this is the dog we took the hospital yesterday In number six, we will choose the correct option C, and after that, the sentence will be: These are the famous temples built by them. Now, this next number seven. In number seven, we will choose the option number B. So the sentence will be: These are the gloves she wears. Okay. Now the next number eight, we will choose the option number C. So the sentence will be: This is the question she asks everyone. In number nine, we will choose the option number A. So the sentence will be: These are the story books I will gift her. In number ten, the last one, we will choose the option number A. So the sentence will be: This is the boat. This is the boat he bought for his family. It is theirs. This is the boat he bought for his family. It is theirs. So just like this, you have to complete this given exercise C. Okay. student firstly you will choose the correct option and after that 
you will write the given option on the blanks okay now we moving to the next exercise it is last exercise of this chapter so student in this exercise identify the errors in this sentences and rewrite the correctly in your notebook so you must be do this given exercise in your notebook after identify the errors in the sentences okay so first is lena is going to study he is sitting for her examination tomorrow so student lena is a girl and which personal pronoun we will use for the girl so we should use she for the girl so student the sentence will be lena is going to study she is sitting for her examination tomorrow okay in second the dogs are loud the dogs are barking loudly it is disturbing me so in the place of it we will use they so the sentence will be the dogs are barking loudly they are disturbing me in number 3 sonu and monu lives in his in this house this house is hers okay so student so we will write in the place of hers them okay sonu and monu live in this house this house is them Now the next, next fourth is my cousins are in town. I will visit him. So in the place of him, we will write them. Number fifth, number fifth is Ruby and I bought this book. This book is theirs. So we will write here hers in place of theirs. In number six, he played with the doll as it was his. So we will write her. So string in first we will use in place of he she. in second in the place of it we will use they in third in place of hers we will use their in number fourth we will use in place of him them in number fifth in place of theirs hers in number six in place of his her just like this you will be correct this given pronouns and after that you will write this given exercise in your notebook okay now we moving to the next number that is number 7 So in number seven, a cat eats fish. He also drinks milk. So in the pl place of he, we will use she. A cat eats fish. She also drinks milk. In number eight, he bought this pen. So it is hers. So we will write here her. In number nine, my sister likes to eat with I. So we will use me. In number ten, my father always buys good books for I to read. She encourages me to read. So, in the place of I, we will use me, and in place of she, we will use he. So, just like this, you have to complete this given exercise. Okay, student. So, what's your homework for today? First of all, you will learn about pronouns, and after that, it's kind, personal pronoun, and demonstrative pronoun, and after that, you will complete all these exercises in your book, and after that, when you complete this all exercises in your book, so. you must be write two or three exercises in your notebook okay student it is very important for you so you must be complete this given exercises okay so that's it for today i hope is that clear to you that how could you complete this all exercises so till then stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my video thank you